What's going on everybody? It's your boy Fox back in the house with a late reaction to Unordinary. Long story short, I got sick and it's just been a mess uh, since I felt a little bit I pretty I feel like I'm better today I just did a collaboration with the homie uh, that'll come out whenever he gets done editing that but anyway let's jump straight into it uh, I don't want to keep this that long because who knows how things might turn out but anyway this is episode 166 chapter 172 who cares let's go so so at the end of the last chapter, John made me feel... Ooh, John made me upset by Pat. What is going on? Don't do this to me. John passed on the responsibility of taking care of Sarah to, her, to Cecile, but enough about that. So Remy's walking down the hallway, and some people are talking. Way more people are getting sent to the infirmary, too. I overheard the dog venting to Mr. Me. Bro, don't add me about the name. When I walked, when I walked by his office... There were three attacks just this morning. Things are getting brazy out here, for real. Uh, lately, I've been so anxious. Ever since these jokers started coming out, I've been I've been too scared to go anywhere on my own. Yeah, unfortunately. Let's let's walk uh, to class together from now on. Yeah, we uh we could always try fighting back too. And risk pissing off the real one. <laughs> I'd rather go to the infirmary than get pummeled and sent to the ER like Remy and Blythe. Ooh, shots fired. So obviously they don't know Remy's uh, listening, but you know. So what's she thinking? Looks like the three of us are... Oh, <laughs> Hello? Excuse me? Looks like the three of us still aren't enough. No, y'all y'all pretty much going up against like the student body, bro. Three people ain't gonna make no difference. We missed out on, we missed out on a bunch of attacks will happen and you will miss out on a bunch more hey excuse me what's she about to say huh uh, oh oh shit remy uh sorry we didn't win anything by what we said no no worries now you guys were talking about joker right oh yeah he totally sucks so not eh, I, I understand it Whew. excuse me we just want to be able to walk around again and not have to worry about getting jumped, uh, getting jumped, you know? And then a normal thing for y'all, now it's just you don't know who's doing it. Yeah, Blake, Eisen, and I are looking for ways to fix this. Do you have any, uh, any ideas on how we could make things better? See, this, that right there, I'm, I, I applaud her for this. This is, this is what you call being proactive instead of just being, like, reactive. And all that. Instead of just, you know, trying to do something like a quick patch or a quick fix, like put a bandit on it, she's actually going around trying to figure out, you know, like, you know, talking to people who this really affects. And she's like, you know, uh, you know, how can we make this better? You know, let's try and work together. Now, granted, it did take a, a cataclysmic event. For, I mean, that's, that's over-exaggerated. It took a lot of junk to happen before it got to this point. But sometimes in these type of situations, it's better late than never. But you know, I still want to give Remy props for even having having the nerve to do this. Not like she, you know. I'm just saying, I'm, I'm really proud of her for taking these steps. This is what needs to happen in order to make things better. And like, and I expected this because obviously, it's like, what you're asking me, my opinion, the, a low, a low. I don't know. That looks like these look like Evie's friends. Let me know. I'm pretty sure they are. Because him and him look familiar. They, I think it's a dude that can turn invisible. I'm not sure. Let me know. But yeah, us. Jumping straight into the chapter. People are still talking. <laughs> OMG, it's Joker again. What do we do? How should I know? Stop, please. What do you want from me? Ooh, my voice is going up. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I thought I was getting better. I think I'm getting worse. I didn't do anything. I beg to differ. <laughs> Someone help! That right there looks like a beam being charged. We'll see. 
Hey, cut that shit out. <laughs> yep, it's black. Yep. Ooh, Gray's the tippy top of the mask. We're like, bro, watch the hair. Don't mess up my hair. Look, he's eating. Like, hop to hop. To, I'm sorry. <laughs> yep. Look at Blake trying to look a look, trying to look like a badass when <laughs> you got your face stomped in. Blake, get your hands off him. <laughs> Someone's not in a happy mood. Smile, sir. You better back off. I'm Joker. No, bro, why are you shaking in your voice? Put some bass in your voice. Say it with your chest. <laughs> yep, yank him up. Joker my ass. I said get off. <laughs> he looks like a straight up anime protagonist right now. Okay, sorry. Uh. Yep. You, what's your next class? Uh. Oh, I have free period. Free, no. You know what? Nope, stop. Side side note. Tangent, whatever. How many of y'all went to a high school where you had a free period? Because down here where I stay, that is not a thing. Even when I was a senior in high school, um, there wasn't no such thing as a free period. Now, I know there are some people who, like, who, if you did all the classes that you need, like, early on, like, from your freshman year all the way up to senior year, that sometimes you wouldn't have class. But at that point, they would just let you go home. Like, free period, that was never a thing. So if you went to a school, let, let me know. I'm just curious right now, because I never had that. All right, help a classmate out. Take this guy to the infirmary for me. Uh, sure. Are you going to refuse? Hey, what about the fake Joker? Aren't you going to unmask him? I want to see who my attacker is. <laughs> Black looking at him like, why are you still talking? But actually, I am curious because what he does right now could, what he does right now could have some deep ramifications. I want to see if, if he he'll be smart because they haven't been doing they've been doing stupid things about unmasking these jokers in my opinion. No, his mask stays on. Look at you. When did you get so smart? What? Why? Yeah, this guy caused a huge commotion. I'm like, uh, do y'all want to fight me? That's what I thought. You're just gonna let him off? Who said I'm letting him off? I'll deal with him in private. There you see, now you're being smart. When did you become such a genius? I'm not about to show his face so, so that all you can just gang up on him later. See, facts, facts. Look at you, I'm so proud of you, boy. You, keep in mind, this guy attacked you for a reason. So while you're in the infirmary, you can reflect on all the times you've pissed someone off in the past. Exactly. If you unmask him, all you're gonna make him do is grab a mask himself and go beat him up and be like, he's gonna be like, yeah, that's what you get. Treat others better. And I guarantee less jokers will come after you. Look, he's, he's pissed, he's probably gonna, he's gonna don the mask anyway, I know he is. Cause he's, he's an idiot, he's a hot-headed. He's hot-headed. Just like almost all these listeners are, but. Yeah, what Black what Black is saying, what Black is doing right now, I applaud it. It is very smart. Like I said, instead of just taking the mask off and being like Jinkies, I knew it was you the whole time. It's like no, I'm gonna deal with this in private. I'm gonna figure out why he's doing what he's doing, and hopefully this doesn't happen again. And just keep repeating this process until hopefully the school gets it. But like I said, I don't know how many students actually attend Wellston. But you know, like I said, right now, Blake and Remy, I applaud them. They are doing very, they're they're doing the right steps in order to try and handle this right now. All right, nothing left to see here. Get back to your business. <laughs> yeah. To utterly defeated. <laughs> and this dude, I'm surprised he ain't trying to take off yet. Hey, you better have a damn good reason for wearing that thing. <laughs> He beat me up in the past. So who is it? Who is this guy? Okay. He's been making me do his homework for weeks now. And whenever the grade isn't good enough for him, he just yells at me to do better. Oh, yeah, that sucks. I was getting tired of it. He, boy, I'm like, calm down. You're sweating bullets right now. So you went and attacked him as Joker? That's going a bit far. Most of the time, we just get stomped on and there's nothing we can do about it. This is the only chance for us weaker fl uh, folks to, st to stand up for ourselves. Yep. Mm -hmm. 
what if he had called your bluff? You would have ended up in the infirmary instead of him. You know that, right? Hey, oh, let me see what this guy says first. That's not really a big deal. It wouldn't be anything new. See, that in lot. See, there are, there are two. There are two people you should be wary of. One are the ones who are quiet, and I don't mean just like people who just like naturally shy or anything, but like the people who are like who take a lot of stuff and don't say nothing, because them the ones that'll probably really mess your day up. And also the people like this person here who have nothing to lose. Cause like he said, he's like, it's not a big deal to me. I go to an infirmary on a, on a maybe not a daily basis, but on a consistent enough basis that it, I'm numb to it all by now. But I'm sick and tired of being bullied. And you bet, and you best believe that if I have a chance to get back at my oppressors, I'm going to do it. And I, like I said, what he's doing is not right. It's not going to really fix anything. It's just going to hatred only begets more hatred. But I understand his reading reasoning behind it. I'm not really mad at him for it. But obviously, there's plenty of other ways to deal with this. Honestly, I, th I can't remember who said this, but why is there no therapist in this school? Like, forget the guidance counselor. They need a full-fledged shrink in here. Like, yeah, come. Everyone needs to have a sketch. They need to have like at least 20 psychiatrists on deck and be like, yeah, you come see me on these amount of days so we can hash some stuff out and all that. <clears throat> Ooh, I'm really losing my voice right now. Sorry, guys. Yeah, let's 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 go. Let's go. All right. Now, what what Black is about to say is really important. I hope he says the right thing. From now on, if anyone picks on you again, let me know. That's my boy. It's my boy. You get Blake. I'm starting to like you a lot more. If you can't find me, then look for Remy or Eisen, and we'll take care of it for you. See? Yes. That. Yes, boy. When did you get so smart? I'm proud of you, boy. Huh? Really? He's like, no one's ever said such kind words to me before. Please, sir. May I have another? <laughs> as long as you quit this Joker thing, it ain't helping nobody. Of course, of course. I won't do it again. Oh, we're at the girls' girls' dorm. Girls dorm as we lay four jokers mask on the ground okay so we're back in the remy's room and all that so one from me and three from you that's kind of a lot so, <laughs> come on eyes i'm gonna need you to put a little bit more work than this <laughs> yeah all in one week too i'm assuming yeah blake's walking in Blake, he's like yeah like hi honey i'm home another day at the office it was rough Oh, sorry. I think it's raining outside. I'm sorry. Got anything to add to the pile? Oh, yeah. Like, this is like a regular day job for them. Just like picking up, beating up fake jokers. Yeet! Alright, four! Whoa, you two are going ham, going ham on these guys. They need to. Well, yeah, it's all, it's our job after all. <laughs> Pretty much. Have you seen the mess this school is in? I gave you this role because I knew you were fit for the job. So you can sit around and continue to whine or you can use your influence to correct this mess. I mean, hey, bro, you're like 75% at fault here too, man. Eight jokers. This is ridiculous. If, if there are already this many jokers running around within the first week, imagine how many more there will be. Yeah, like I said, you're fighting an uphill battle pretty much against the whole student body. We need to find a better way to do this. Any any ideas, please? Takers, takers. I'm, I'm open for ideas. <laughs> a huge part of what's happening now is because of me. I could I could have uh, managed our information flow better. Damn, I really screwed up. Well, not, while I will agree that a lot of this is your fault, uh, for the most part, Arlo and Eisen are 50-50 in this endeavor to me, for pretty much. But. You probably could have controlled the flow of information better, but I mean, I don't think there's no way this, this info was not going to get out. You probably could have held it for maybe like a week, week and a half tops, but eventually people would have found out, you feel me? So, yeah, but all, you know how this all could have been avoided had you left John alone. <laughs> no, not just you. We've all lost touch with half of the school, so we're all responsible for this. I wonder how many students actually attend 
Like, do we have a list of students? Like, not like individual names. Like, do we have like how many people actually go to this school? They've taken matters into their own hands because they're because we're obsolete in their eyes. All right. So at this point, we've got no choice but to start from square one. It'd be like that sometimes. But it's but you're only a failure if you quit. Remember that. Diffuse whatever we can. Talk to every victim. Regain their tr and regain their trust. Sure, but but the rate of but with the rate that uh, we're going at, we're not gonna we're gonna need a lot more help. Yes, you are. Right. In order to make this work, we'll need all of the top students on board. Serafina, um, Serafina, Arlo, Cecile, and jo <laughs> John. Uh, good luck with that one. He's the guy who wanted all this. Look at him, black is shaking. That's how you know you struck fear into someone when they shake at the mere mention of your name. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> no, fuck him. <laughs> he called us out for abusing our power when it's exactly what he's been doing. How is he abusing his power? He stripped away everyone's trust in the royals and now look at everything. Kids are running around beating each other up even more than before. I, I feel like the percentage went up, but I don't feel like it went up by much. I feel like now you just got people running around with masks and they're just doing this stuff anonymously instead of like publicly. When I spoke with him, I really thought the both, the both of us wanted the same thing. Just that our methods of approaching the solution were different. They were. I feel like he did want it until the whole thing with Serafina pretty finding out. Once again, Arlo, you should just keep your mouth shut. Keep your mouth shut. But at this point, I don't even understand what John's goal is anymore. I'm sure he knows. I'm sure he knows exactly how chaotic the school is right now. But he isn't doing anything about it. He's too concerned with Serafina. Well, if you ask me, John is already far gone. What are you about to say, Eisen? He may have cared about Wellston at some point, but we. But we'd be idiots to still think he does. Exactly. That that is my point. That, and I've said this with like talking with like it's high and all the other jokers and stuff. Like I said, I feel like when Joker went up, when John went about this to begin with, he did have a plan. Now, like I said, I don't think it was straight up bulletproof. Like yeah, like this will happen in a rough without a hitch. But I feel like once Serafina started ignoring him and all that, I know no, that is what happened. Once Serafina started ignoring him. Any plan he had for trying to control the school and make it more peaceful or whatever went out the window because he did it for her. And if she, and if she's not, you know, responding to his text or they're not friends anymore, then he's, it's pretty much like, then why did I do all this? Why? If, for the most part, John did all this for her sake. Now her losing her powers, that that well, you could you could technically blame John for that, but I feel like that would have still happened regardless anyway. But anyway, that, that's for another video topic. Remember, this isn't new for him. He did this He did this at his old school too. That's why I tried so hard to get on his good side. If you look at his track record, you'd realize he's just an angry dude who wants to watch it all burn. Uh, no. If you, if you recall correctly, for the most part while John was here, he minded his own business and didn't even mess with y'all. But you couldn't we you couldn't leave well enough alone that you had to go and pry. And then once you went and pried, you went and told well no. I don't remember if it was like he like Eisen found out about his past first, then told Arlo or no, Arlo told him to dig into it. So yeah. Had y'all left it alone, none of this would happen. John would probably still be getting beaten up every day, but he would I mean not that he was fine with it, but he was like, as long as I can chill out with Serafina and, you know, pretty much live a normal life i'm good but y'all wouldn't let him do that so no so he didn't want this all this to begin with because i feel like because he could have came straight up in the school straight off the jump and ran the whole place and nobody would have been able to do anything about it but yeah but anywho it's like i said this whole different scope subject for another day oh you two stop hanging out i'm still upset at you dog but I, you know i appreciate you trying to fix things any jokers come after you today? Just one, but he wasn't too strong. I managed to fight him off. If you ever get overwhelmed, let me know. We don't need your sympathy. Nah, but I do appreciate him doing that though, because someone needs to look out for it right now, because John's crazy. 
you know what? It just really hurt my heart to say that. I'm sick again. Forget this. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, still sticking out for me. John really did beat some sense into you. I hope I we would hope so. Ugh, don't mention him in front of me. <laughs> John, John. See, now I'm upset. I'm upset. Shut up. Cecile, baby. I'm sorry you got stuck with this job. What are those two doing together? And so yeah. This chapter was good. Um, I'm really proud of Aizen and uh, Remy. No, I'm really proud of Blake and uh, Blake and Remy in the chapter. They are they are doing the necessary steps in the proper way to try and help the situation and ease the burden of what John has unleashed after taking them all down and everything. But I still feel like uh, like for Aizen to say that John wanted all this to burn in the first place, I'm like, no, that's that's not true at all. It, he really didn't. Y'all provoked him, and now you're dealing with the consequences of it. Granted. I don't agree. I I sincerely don't agree with everything that John has been doing, especially lately, of all this. But actually, I'm more upset at the end of this chapter for the fact that now Serafina and Arlo are getting kind of chummy. Cause Serafina, cause if you notice, she's playful, and that's how Serafina normally is. Like, like during school and all that, she she comes off as very stoic and you know, the uh, calm, cool, collective. You know, tries to be well when she actually cared about her reputation. But when she was with John, she was always very playful in like a in like a jokey prankster kind of way. And now she's kind of being that way towards Arlo. I mean, I get it because she right now she, ever since she found out about John, she hasn't really been able to like just be herself and let her guard down. Right now she's kind of feeling that way towards Arlo because he's kind of filling the role of John, which kind of makes me sick a little bit. As a discussion, I need to get back on my discussions, uh, but. Guys, do the stuff that I normally tell you to do. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications for when I drop more videos. And let's crush it. I want to see 30 likes on this video. Ugh, it's It's been crazy. Shout out to all the my uh, patrons on my Patreon. I just got the one, but, you know, I appreciate it deeply, homie. Uh, I, got a, I got a special uh, thing for that coming in the works. Uh, hopefully, once I fully get over being sick we'll try and get this back on schedule i do not know when this is going to drop um it should be out before the new chapter drops but if not i would drop these two at the same time but guys uh 